Okay, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be showcasing uh, how to set up my 5M server status Discord bot, which basically just shows how many members are in your uh, 5M server through the status of the Discord bot. Uh, so the GitHub link will be in my description. I go download that. Also, excuse any pops in the background. It's just New Year's Eve. Uh, fireworks. Um, so you just go into the code that you download from the GitHub. You go into the configuration file. Um, then you put the Discord bot token here. So the way you do that is you make a new application. Uh, you call it whatever you want. I'm going to go with 5M. Then you go into bot and you add a bot. Uh, you copy that, uh, you go into here, you take away the your token goes there thingy, paste that in there, the server name, so let's say my server name is uh, zombie, zombie RP, I guess, just a random name I found, uh, found right now. Then the current IP here is my 5M server IP. Uh, you can change that to your server IP or you should change that to your for this to work. Uh, the port, uh, currently this is the one of the 5M ports. You should keep it at this, but if for some weird reason your server uses a different port, you need to change that to the port you're using, but you know, uh, if you don't know the port you're using, just keep it at that. Uh, then that's basically it. So don't change anything here. Uh, basically, if you change anything here, <laughs> it's gonna break. Uh, except the semicolons, but you know. If you don't know code or you don't know JavaScript, don't change anything. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I pasted the... Yeah, I did. So we can now, let's say we, yeah, we need to go into the terminal. Uh, let me show you how to open the terminal. You go into here, you just type node space dot. The bot is online. Uh, then I see I got an invite the bot to my server. Go into there, press bot. I'm going to give administrator perms to make it easier. Go into there. Uh, continue, authorize, there we go, the bot is in here, server, we see zero, now if I open 5M, uh, 5M, I can take this over to my other monitor, just so we can see the, okay, I guess not, um, now let's just load into the server. Excuse the loud music that's gonna come and mute that. Uh, you know, every 5M server gotta have some loud music in the loading screen. So we just mute that. Uh, now if we go into here, we see one player because that's me. Now, because we said uh, some BRP here, it says it's watching one player on some BRP. Um, it connected successfully to my server. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna work if you have a, a custom domain for your IP, I, for your IP. But the simplest way to fix that is just to use the IP. Still, uh, I don't know if it's gonna work if you use your custom domain. But just keep it at the IP if you're not sure. <laughs> Um, that's basically it. Uh, don't delete any files. That's pretty important. Uh, yeah. Uh, I may be going to update some of this code. Maybe add some more stuff. But for now, uh, I'm not. So, yeah, see ya.